So, welcome to part 4 of my nice guy playthrough. So, in this video I'll be going to the forge, which is located just outside of the slog, and ultimately getting the weapon Shish Kebab, Fiery Katana. Something's out there. Found you. We're not going to... Make very good time with you so loaded down. We better keep our eyes closed.
We'll save this mission. Um, there's a computer terminal which will need at least two stars in hacking in order to get through, in order to progress to the boss and ultimately get the weapon. Have a concussion. I'm fucking seeing things. Well, think about it. Stay calm. It wasn't your fault. You did what you had to do. What the fuck was that? Hold up.
So, I'll also show you the three outcomes of when you convince Jake, uh, when you kill Jake, and when you complete the mission. So first, I convince Jake, but he dies. If he tries to leave, We're kill him. You must be pretty strong to make it here. Who are you supposed to be? I'm Slag, and we are the Forged. And you, stranger, you're somebody with some guts. I like that. See, Jake? Here's someone who might actually be worth my time. Unlike you. But you're gonna kill me. But I brought everything you asked for. Stealing things from your family farm doesn't prove your strength, boy. Though this wonderful sword you brought does put me in the mood to give you one last chance to prove your worth. What do you say? Kill that prisoner and prove that you aren't completely useless. You said we'd be raiding outside the Commonwealth. These people aren't even a threat to us. Prove to me that you can kill! It's him or you. Oh God, what do I do? What do I do? Walk away, Jake. You don't have to do this. Please, let me go. What's You're right. Gonna be, Jake? I don't want to do this. I don't want to join the Forge. I just want to go home. Last. Chance, Jake. You'll kill the prisoner before I count to three. It's over. One. Help! Two! Three! I'm gonna tear you up! In the second video, I don't convince Jake, and I ultimately kill him. does put me in the mood to give you one last chance to prove your worth. What do you say? Kill that prisoner and prove that you aren't completely useless. You said we'd be raiding outside the Commonwealth. These people aren't even a threat to us. Prove to me that you can kill! It's him or you. Oh God, what do I do? What do I do? Walk away, Jake. You don't have to do this. Please, let me go. What if I don't? Be, Jake? They'll kill me. Don't do it, Jake. Prove to this me that you're worth I'll come after my family Jake. if I don't. I'm sorry, but I, I, I've got no choice.
And in this third run, I convince Jake and ultimately complete the mission. What do I do? Walk away, Jake. You don't have to do this. Please let me go. You're right. I don't want to do this. I don't want to join the forge. I just want to go home. We're going to need bigger guns. You don't kill the prisoner before I count to three. Thank you, get After you kill the boss and pick up the weapon, it's just a short trek from the forge into the old forest and uh, finish the mission there. Excuse me. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. I, I messed up. I panicked. What were you doing with those guys anyway? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, well, just... I thought we'd be raiding outside of the Commonwealth, and that if I joined them, I could provide for my family. I don't know. God, my dad's right. I'm such an idiot. Look, I, I should probably try to go home and make amends. I know I've got no right to ask, but I bet if you're there to explain, things with my dad would go easier. I bet if you bring my great-granddad's sword, he'll make it worth your while. He always tries to deal fair with me. I'll wait for you by the overpass near the farm. What the? Boy, I told you to let him show your face here again. Is I... that my boy come home? What? Jake's back? Oh, thank God. Papa, please. I, I know I screwed up pretty big. I, I thought if I joined up, I could keep them from raiding our farm. I didn't. I don't want to hurt anybody. I don't care what you thought. I told you. Abraham Francis Finch, that's enough. Mama, if- Shut up, Jake. If I hear anything out of either of you, you'll both be peeling potatoes for the next year. I've watched you two go at it for years and tried to let you sort it out for yourselves. Abraham, your son is a grown man. And if you expect him to act like one, then you'd better stop treating him like a child. Jake, your father and I have been out there, and we know it can be dangerous. We just want to make sure you're prepared. There, it's over. If I hear another word about it from either of you, so help me. She's right. Excuse me. Thanks again for getting me out of there. If you want to help Mr. out, Finch. take some ears of corn right. and bring I've him here. Fool. There's no way I can thank you enough. Here's something for your help. I think you should hang on to that sword. It would put a smile on Granddad's face to know it was being used to help people. Hey, go ahead. Hi. Do you think we're ready to retake the castle? 
Anything else need doing? I'll let you know if I hear of any settlements that need our help. In the meantime, make sure to offer help to anyone that needs it. That can only help our cause. Thanks for joining me for another Fallout video. There'll be another one. See you.